Hi coders, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click subscribe. And if you're a regular, welcome back. So I did a poll um, if you guys want me to do a web app or do top 10 certificates that you should have in 2022. And most of you opted for the top 10 certificates. And I know I posted that a long time ago, but we are finally here. So the reason for the certificates is that it puts you in a higher ranking when you apply for jobs. If you check job adverts, they will specify that maybe you need a certificate in Azure. Although you have a degree or a relevant qualification, you need a certificate in Azure, AWS. If you are applying for software testing, you need an ISTQB certificate. Those certificates are really important, especially also if you are self-taught, having a certificate really helps you. So I'll keep on looking at my book for notes so that I don't, you know. Okay, so the first certificate that I'm going to talk about is an AWS certified cloud practitioner. So if you have watched my previous videos, you'll see that I've spoken about cloud certificates. Okay, so so a AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate is an entry level exam that validates your knowledge in cloud, right? So I'm talking about the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate because most people actually do that AWS certificate than the Google Cloud Certificate. So I also have a link below where you can actually get a AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate for free. The second one is a Certified Ethical Hacker, which is offered through EC Council. So it demonstrates your abilities to find vulnerabilities in computer systems and to prevent hacking. And then the third one is a Cisco Certified Network Professional, a CCNP, which is the next step after you get your CCNA, which is a Cisco Certified Network Associate um, Certificate. And with a CCNP, you can choose to, to be certified in an enterprise data center, service provider, security, collaboration, cyber ops, or DevNet. And then number four is a certified scrum master. I like this one. This one I'm thinking of doing, which is an entry level certificate to validate your, your skills using scrum, which is an agile dev development framework. So it is a valuable certificate if you're interested in being a scrum, but it is also useful if you are a software engineer, business analyst, or a project manager. And then number five is an ISTQB foundation certificate which is an entry-level certificate for software testers. It provides essential testing knowledge that can be put to practical use and explains terminology and concepts that are used worldwide in a testing domain. So if you want to become a software tester, this is um, an entry-level certificate that you can actually get. Number six is a project management professional certificate, a PMP. It is targeted for advanced project manager professionals. So it covers the fundamentals of project management life cycle, including the five main stages of the life cycle, which is initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, controlling, and closing. And then number seven is a Salesforce certified development life cycle and deployment designer, which falls under the Salesforce Architect Certificates track. This certificate exam is offered as a specialization. You can take under the certified Salesforce Architects certification path. You can also use Trailblazer if you're really interested in Salesforce. Um, it has tracks that you can follow um, as well as certificates. Then number eight is Oracle MySQL Database administration. It is designed for database admin administrators um, who want to prove their skills with increasing performance, integrating business process and managing business process and data. Number nine is a certified data professional, which is a CDP, it offers several learning paths and candidates can choose from a range of domains, including business analytics, data analytics, design, data governance, and etc. It is offered at various levels, um, starting with foundation all the way to principal and ending at the final level of executive management. And then last but not least is the Linux Essentials Professionals Development Certificate. <laughs> it is designed to demonstrate your understanding of Linux, which is an open source um, operating system used in several industries. Um, the exam covers the basic concepts of Linux hardware, software, process, programs, as well as system security. It is best suited to those on track to become an IT developer, administrator, or engineer. So those are the top 10 certificates that are essential in 2020, in 2022, in 2022, and they pay well. So do get yourself one. 
and put yourself at a best position when you apply for jobs um so yeah please give this video a thumbs up comment down below um which certificate you are you have or you are thinking of getting and why and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed um until the next one bye